There is no doubt in my mind that the best use of this parcel of land across the street from the Nature Center is for mitigation. This land is ideally suited for mitigation because of, number one, its low elevation, number two, the fact that it already has uh, wetlands on its property. We have a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity here to uh, maintain, preserve an open space corridor from the mouth of the lagoon, alongside the lagoon, extending more than five miles inland. Now, a good portion of that has already been purchased. Various conservation groups, the public, wildlife agencies managed to raise nine and a half million dollars to buy the 134-acre Sherman property, which is wonderful riparian habitat just upstream from the lagoon. We have a tremendous opportunity now to potentially acquire this parcel. It is very rare that the combination of factors come together like they have today. Um, because we've got the widening of I-5 through this area and the interchange of I-5 and 78, there are millions of dollars available to mitigate the impacts on the lagoon. The wildlife agencies would be very supportive of acquisitions around the lagoon. They actually manage the lagoon themselves. We've got the restoration plan underway, so all of the participants in that will be very supportive of protecting um, the resources around the lagoon. So we, there really are a whole host of agencies as well as the community. I mean, we successfully engage the community in the Sherman acquisition upstream. People care about preserving these resources, and we know the people of this community will, will come forward and, and participate in that. There was a comment made earlier today, this evening, about density in the right place. And we know where that is. We're within blocks of it, standing here in this city council chamber. Uh, that's where density ought to be, downtown. Let's not throw it out there on the edges and the fringes of this very fine city. That's where we all live, and we're good neighbors, but I don't think we want this density. This is density in the wrong place. Uh, it's sad to see as humans we develop the land to a point where we destroy all the major water flows and water features and drainage channels and courses because we need roads and highways and streets and it was easiest to develop them in these low-lying areas but this is the last coastal road that goes between Carlsbad and Oceanside is the first one next to the ocean these are all private streets back here and this should be maintained as an open space we at Buena Vista Audubon Society feel very strongly that the best use for this land across Coast Highway from our nature center is for it to remain forever as open space we need open space alongside our lagoon for the effectiveness of our nature education programs to give a worthwhile nature experience to all the visitors that come to uh, Oceanside and Carlsbad to experience nature, uh, to come and see the 200 birds that we have here. When kids come here to look at nature, they need to be able to see ospreys and kingfishers, not the backside of a poorly sited and poorly designed, overdeveloped uh, hotel. If this land were to be developed, it would have a uh, uh, much greater impact, negative impact, on the habitat value of the adjacent reserve that has already been set aside and preserved and protected and will remain as a, an ecological reserve. Uh, because of the, uh, the negative impacts that will flow into the lagoon as a result of a development that close and that, at that same elevation as the adjoining lagoon. Our organization worked very hard over several years with the Trust for Public Land, with the local wildlife agencies to acquire the 134-acre Sherman property in the Buena Vista Valley. It's just a little over a mile upstream from the lagoon. It's a critical part of the watershed. It's the floodplain areas for Buena Vista Creek. So we're going to protect that one, that part of the watershed but we'll undo all the good if we then turn around and, and damage the downstream lagoon. All of that upstream work really is intended to protect the lagoon and our coastal waters, and, and we would just throw it away to do bad development on this property. The value of the lagoon to, to the community is uh, immeasurable. You can't put a price on it, and that's because there's not many resources left like this. You can't build another lagoon. You can build another. You can build the hotel someplace else. People, 
just down south of us are putting millions and millions of dollars into restoring lagoons and we're talking about paving over our paradise and putting in a big parking lot and a block wall around it.